When we crossed into the nuclear age, we shifted the game of power and creation. The rules of creation, how we would deal with them, how they would operate. We did not change the rules, we upgraded the consequences and the dynamics of the rules as they applied to us. To us. To us. Our consciousness about how the game works here was being stripped of a naivete that existed prior to the nuclear age and upgraded to a much more sophisticated quantum level of how creation works and therefore how our choices work. What it means to make micro and macro choices. Are you following me here? So that this first level that I was learning, in this world, we operate on the idea that for every one problem, there is one cause and one solution. This is a consciousness model. This is how we work. So in this world, when I was first doing readings, the idea that we create CR, reality, had been born and it hit people like this wonderful, wow, I am so empowered. And I remember going to workshops where people would say, I know I created this cancer and I know I can create it out. And people would go, yay! And I remember thinking, what? <clears throat> but hey, I was, a, I was a apprentice at this point. So I was all about learning, all about learning. But my gut, my intuitive, my, my intuitive system was just like, like this radar going zzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
As soon as you put a my or your in front of it, you've lost the game. You've lost it. You've lost it. Because there's nothing operating here in truth that has anything to do with you. Nothing. The moment you think it's all about you, you've lost it. Including grounds for miracles. Nothing here is about you. Get it straight. Nothing, and nothing ever will be. Humble up. Humble up is the name of your spiritual creed. What's your creed? Humble up. You're returning to ordinary. Humble up. That's it. The first shall be last. No kidding. Okay. Now, in this world, we look for one. There must be one for one for one. Well, there isn't. There isn't. There are numerous reasons why things happen as they do. And some of the reasons, as I have discovered when we get over here, come from lives yet to be lived. Ooh, let's go. No. You stay where I'm. You stay with me right here. Because in this world, in your blood and in your bones, you want to know one reason for one. And that is so strongly ingrained because that's the way reason works. This is why I no longer do readings. Because there's nothing I can tell anybody that is actually accurate anymore if they come from this world. So I took myself off the playing field. Because everything here, just give me one reason, just give me the reason. There's no such thing. In this world, as you'll see, you are the higher consciousness you go, the more you have to detach from the world in which you reason through time and space. And you have to begin to reason through all things are simultaneous and a hologram. And that takes a phenomenal leap of consciousness when you adapt what I would call quantum or mystical consciousness as your ordinary state of mind. So now ordinary, in the natural way of divine paradox, becomes the most extraordinary state of consciousness because it is full-on cosmic mystical. Pause button. Question? Am I going too fast? Okay. Now, after six years, Norm and I you know, I sort of charted away, charted away, and then I wrote Creation of Health, in which, you know, I said, well, okay, so it seems like these stresses had to do with lower back pain, which are, by the way, still accurate. Now, there's a difference between the word accurate and truth. So mind, we're gonna, I'm gonna do a lecture on the power of words. Every word you use is an act of profound creation.